Hello and welcome back to episode 25 of Dead Space 3. I'm Vic, and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. And I lied again. I'm not sorry. We're just gonna have to live with it. We're gonna have to find a way to get through this together. I don't think there's really anything else to grab anyway, so let's just go. Is that where I'm going? That is where I'm going. What's over here? Oh ho. The signs are all around me. I don't know why I didn't see it before. Everywhere we look, there are markers. Red ones similar to the copies we ourselves have created back home. The marker signal doesn't just reanimate the dead. It manipulates us into spreading the markers. And now we too have been unwittingly spreading this galactic virus from planet to planet. The propagation of our species has only served to create a source of food and the means of finding it for these moon-sized entities. It is no wonder Tau Volantis chose self-sacrifice. They eliminated themselves like a gangrenous limb, hoping to keep the infection from spreading to us. Yeah, and it's too bad that they didn't actually implement a solution that was going to stick. Because, I mean, obviously, if you're talking about galactic events and galactic time scales, just freezing the planet is never going to do. I mean, sooner or later, your machine is going to break down. They must have been hoping to be rescued. Let's try it. Wow. Time to get shot out of another cannon, it looks like. Those are the all oh, those are the guys that I killed in zero G. Can I shoot at them? I can shoot at them. I don't think that's a very good use of my time, though. Well, isn't that exciting? Oh yeah, look at that. I totally overlooked how this stuff was all overrun by organic ness. Yeah, see, these guys, they were definitely, definitely fighting necromorphs while they were building this thing. And they were losing, probably. So, why didn't they leave any guns around? Why are there no alien guns for Isaac? Probably should have my shotgun back. Of course those guys would show up too. Why not? rockets are probably ammo expensive, but at this point, I don't re really care. And you? You can get exploded too, that's fine. Oh, oh I missed that one. Saw you. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, I would... I would rather fight these guys deliberately with the, with the trip mines. But it would not be very much fun to watch. It would take a lot longer. And so for that reason, if nothing else, I think the rocket launcher is the right choice. Yeah, try and grab me, dummy. Finally did it once. Were we talking about anything? I don't remember. Oh, other than the futility of this planet freezing gesture by the alien peoples. Oh, I don't have any... I don't have any scavenger bots. The invasive growth in this area has made it difficult to make much progress. Dig teams continue to get caught in the ancient, sticky webbing. There is no doubt in my mind that the devices above are essential to the configuration of this alien machine. Based on my observations of the alien script, it could be a sort of amplifier made to boost the signal or power source when properly aligned. Boost the signal or power source. So if we wanted to, we could turn it around and use it to call the Brethren Moons, I guess. Yeah, so if you uh, if you caught me looking at my inventory there while we were listening to the audio tape, those rockets are very ammo expensive, and I probably went a little overboard. So hopefully we won't have to deal with too many more fights like that. He said. Foreshadowingly, that's the word. Hmm. This room has kind of a Dwemer feel to it, doesn't it? What is this? Give me that. Oh, all these circuits are going to be really nice for New Game Plus when I finally get around to using them. I was really hoping there would be a bench up here. It's a, uh, it's a large-scale version of the spinny puzzles we've been doing all along. Super torque, yeah. Oh. And then... We ran into one of these guys on the Ishimura, right? Yeah, we did. It's 
almost like cheating. Oh, they come back. Inconvenient. Alright, let's, uh, throw ourselves into the abyss, right? We're making very little progress in this puzzle. So that's neat. Hey. force on the Kinesis is much stronger, but what's not stronger is the launch force, apparently. That's a little disappointing. Alright, now if everyone is agreeable, I would like to do the puzzle, please. So we got that. That's not going to line up. Nope. Um, the other one does line up. So what if we do that? Can we turn this one? What's on the other side of this one? Okay, so we'll do that. Connection there, and we got a connection there. That's got to be right. So now we'll go. Ooh, I want that. Claw, go. Yep, that one's gonna line up. Is that it? I think that's it. That's very bright. All right, just got the power line. Looks like it opened another activation terminal. We're getting closer to fixing this machine, Carver. I'm not sure that I would go so far as to say that we were doing anything like fixing this machine. But I guess it'll... we're gonna make it do what we want. We're reconfiguring the machine. Isaac, what are you doing? Finishing something that should have been done a long time ago. Well, stop it! You're tampering with things you know nothing about. Right back at you, jackass. There we go. I guess Danik hasn't really been doing much tampering thus far, but he aspires to tamper. That counts. I declare that that counts. I would like a bench, please. Oh, they weren't doing that before. That's... Well, you've successfully turned the city into a giant pretzel. Now what? Mr. Serrano's right. I should be able to return to the first activation point to enter the final setting. What happens then? Hey, I work on spaceships. Not alien machines, right. 
I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer. I really don't think it's a good sign that the markers are glowing, though. Don't mind me, gentlemen. Oh, they mind me. This door's already unlocked, which is why the, the translator is not turned on. Why do I need to go this way, though? Give that to me. Um, okay, fine. I didn't want it anyway. Yep, the markers are all turning on. Which would seem to suggest that they're back on their bullshit or the convergence is resuming. You know, something broadly unpleasant. This isn't the way, Isaac. There is a future for you, for all of us. Leave me alone, Danik. You can see them again, Isaac. Everyone you've lost along the way. It's a future with no regrets. I have no regrets, Danik. One way or another, this will all be over soon. Isaac! I just noticed that, or rather I just remembered, that there's a door over here that I might not have visited. Right? Is it this one? No, I'm crazy. This time it's me who's insane. I suppose it's about my turn. I'll take it. All right. So Danik really seems to think that we're gonna end up in some kind of like end of Evangelion goop. Where are absolute terror fields break down and we all just turn into an ocean of humanity and everybody lives happily ever after in coexistence. And, uh... I don't know how he thinks that. <laughs> like, are there necromorphs? Because the only way for everybody to be one big happy organism is to go around and murder everyone. It obviously hasn't worked. Cornered. This is good. What just happened? Okay. I don't I don't know why that was a thing. But Oh don't tell me there's a third one. Ooh. Oh. Weird. Okay. Alright. That's one down. And these guys are loud. Okay. Oh, there is a third one. 
No. Stop it. I'm out of health. I really need that one that I left behind. Oh, great. Keep together, Isaac. Okay, so that's another one down. Oh my god. Keep moving. There's health over here somewhere. I saw it. I missed it. And death. Not death. Gimme. Okay. Ugh. And yeah, now we're gonna die. Another one? Oh my god. bad way. I hope there is a bench very close by. Alright, well that, that improved our situation somewhat. How many of those things did I just kill? It was at least three, and I think it might have been four. All right, Isaac. Yeah, we need to go resupply, like right now. were not designed with expediency in mind. Now off we go back to the main platform. And at any minute those guys are going to wake up and start taking swings at me. Because that's just how Isaac's day always goes. That's a bench. No. No. The bench. Why are you coming after me? That's, that's so unreasonable. How about, how about I just, oh yeah, yeah, screw you. You can, you can come back and play with me. Oh, come on.
What? How are you not dead yet? stuff. Well, we made it. And it was the closest fight we've had so far in the game. After I spent most of the game shooting off the mount my mouth about how ammo efficient I was, I got a little too happy with that rocket launcher. And I almost blew it. thousand somatic gel <laughs> oh all right we're definitely taking both of those go ahead and just take all of the, the little one guys and then we're gonna just make a whole bunch of ammo how we doing that probably wasn't enough It'll get us by. Okay, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we gotta go back up here. And, uh... Use the codex. And I guess we gotta ask ourselves... Are we doing the correct thing with the codex? You would think that doing the correct thing with the codex would not involve... All of the markers waking up. But maybe, right? Okay, so now we do the squiggly with the middle two. So you go down one, and you go up one, and you go up one. And you go down one. And here we go. Do it. Isaac? There's literally no fanfare at all. I know you think you're doing the right thing, but you are wrong, Isaac. You have to let me turn off the machine. My reinforcements have arrived with a big surprise. All right, well, Danik is still mad, so we're probably doing the right thing. Do you think his reinforcements brought a nuke? It'd be the smartest thing they'd done all along. I don't have time for your nonsense, wiggly really, boy.
Okay. They don't even give me anything. Okay, well, on that frustrating note, we are all out of time for episode 25, so come back and see me again in episode 26 for more insanity, more dismemberment, and hopefully a thermonuclear detonation. Talk to you soon.